Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to my channel. My name is Cece, and today we are going to look into how will the people feel when the matrix that NASA and others have created for so long finally, well, mainly NASA, when that matrix finally comes down, how will the world feel? How will the world feel when this matrix that they've set in place, when th these illusions, these lies come out about NASA, how will the world feel when this happens? Right? Now, as you can see, just take a look at the imagery. How do you think the world is going to feel? These look like crystals in the sky. It's look like, oh, these are angels. Look at that. I thought it was cotton candy at first. <laughs> look, when you know you have a sweet tooth, right? Just, just beautiful. When the truth about the maypole comes out and how it's connected to the anchoring of the earth and the black sun and, and the North Star, the Polaris, and the, look at that, the star, the North Star, and how it's anchored and grounded. And the black sun, the connection to the black sun and the divine feminine energy. How is the world going to feel? And we have the ace of pentacles, the sun, the three of cups. This is celebration. People are happy. People are excited. This is something I wanted to say the star of David. And when they talk about the North Star or the North, what is it? The North Pole the star of Bethlehem, right? I really feel the illustration that I saw that a guy was explaining about how this is at the top of the earth, right? Or what I say, the earth? Yeah, the earth. And then you have the sun, the moon, the black sun, and then these axes in which the world spins on. So this black sun is always still. And this is anchored down through. So this is this this would represent the maypole. If you guys ever wonder what the maypole really represented, okay, these are people of a higher order who know the truth. All right, so we have the compass right here, and this will be the G in the middle. So just kind of imagine, if you will, um, the compass this going down and then this going up without this line right here, the compass. To represent the the free ones, so to speak. I'm just gonna say that. That's all I'm gonna say, honey. If you get me, um, and look at the hand that holds this up. It's a feminine hand. Understand that it's a divine feminine. The the hand of the divine baby. This keeps coming out in my readings. So many people say he, God, he. Jesus Christ, the Christos, the real Christos. And, and I don't wish to offend anyone, but I'm telling you, that's the reason for my name change. I changed my name at the beginning of this year, coming into this year, because I wanted to start anew. And I just chose the first name I chose was Lucifer's Light Tarot. So now I have Feminine Divine Christos Energy Tarot. And I'll explain the first one in another video, okay? I'm not going to do that in this video, but this is how the world is going to feel when the matrix comes down. But guess what? Guess what? You hear them talk about ascension, right? A lot of people who, they're trying to get people to believe in the new age. I'm going to tell you why. That's another deception within itself, but not it's not what you think. The reason that they want people to believe in the ascension process is because there's a change coming when it comes to the food, the water, the, the way you brush your teeth, the chemicals that are used in the mouthwashes. It's going to be done in a more natural form. So over the years, slowly but surely, the pineal gland that has been calcified, that has been tainted 
for so long, the illusions that have been cast for so long, because it's keeping your pineal gland buried. Now these things, it's almost like you're going through a decalcification process. So what's going to happen is the things that you are not able to see before you're going to start seeing them and others are going to start saying they are witnessing this with you. And because they believe in the grand deception, right? The uh, ascension, it's not that you are going into the fifth dimension. Hell, we barely understand the damn third dimension. We barely understand the fourth. <laughs> Look, we barely understand the Tesseract, okay? We don't understand all that shit just yet. It ain't meant for us to understand that. It's meant for us to live in the now and to, at the same time, still be aware of our surroundings, the past, the present, and the future, right? But not to dwell on either or like the ones that's behind the past or the future, but to be aware to plan for the future. But you never know what your path, what your journey is going, where your journey is going to take you, point blank, period. So this ascension that they're talking about, right, is not necessarily you ascending into a higher realm of existence. What it is, is that your mind, the foods, they can no longer taint. The water, they can no longer poison. The illusions, the lies that they've told, they can no longer, those things don't stick like they used to. That is all falling down. And as the food gets better in quality and you're eating more fresher foods, um, do get ready you're not going to be seeing too much meat in the stores. I've said that in my other video. I've made a prediction about that. You're not going to see a lot of meat in the stores. There's going to be a lot of fruits and vegetables. And I hope people grow their own because uh, according to, uh, well, I can't go off of everything that people say. I haven't fully done research on this, but I was watching a video and the young man was saying how all of a sudden the restaurants want to go vegan, plant-based, right? But the person who owns most of the farms is who? bill gates he's already fucked up and then we're gonna we have food coming from his farms where he sprays with pesticides <clears throat> excuse me oh don't want me to talk i'm gonna keep talking so there's a lifting of the veil not because you're ascending into the fifth dimension and there's anything for you to be scared of it's just that illusions are going to start falling down because your pineal gland is getting decalcified and now you're able to even see some what they call interdimensional beings don't get scared do not get scared but the celebration look at these women they are they are happy the, this is the divine feminine. So for so long, we've been saying the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit, right? And it's crazy because we as women, we don't get acknowledged here on earth like that. You ever think about that? They always try to overthrow the woman. It's always male presidents, a man in, in the office, always male presidents, right? Never a woman. That's how much they want the woman to be up under them. When in actuality, that spirit that you speak of, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit is actually them acknowledging the woman, but treating her as if she's a ghost. So it's actually the mother, the daughter, and the Holy Spirit, okay? Or you could say the grandmother. The grandmother, the mother, and the daughter, okay? Feminine energies. These. This is us as a people looking over the wall. This is the same card I got in the reading for... Um, the black sun and seeing over the over the wall, looking beyond the veil, right? Seeing over the wall, the wall that is being created is actually more sinister than you think. It's actually in our pineal glands that they've been trying to um, taint for so long. They've been trying to taint it for so long. Now, whether the moon is, I'm not going to debate about that. I do believe the moon is very much so real, right? Ooh, I can't debate on that though. I can't debate because we don't know what kind of illusions that we, they're talking about. China is talking about putting a sun, building a sun and putting it into their, into orbit. Okay. So who knows if long ago they had the ability to do this and they did it with the moon so long ago, who knows? Who knows? So if that's not true, I'm not going to question that. Let's just say if this is, they are also pretty much aware of how to use the energy of the moon to cast the illusions and doing high level sorcery and trying to mess with art, trying to bring us to such a low vibration 
that we can't even see those beings that are on a higher vibration that dwell within the same space as us that are already here. So when they talk about this ascension that is about to happen, it's because there's a change in power that is happening. There will be no more poisoning the foods. There will no be, be more no, look at them trying to fuck my word. <laughs> I rebuke you. <laughs> I rebuke you. you. You you have no power over here. Get the fuck on somewhere now. There will be no more poisoning the food. There will be no more poisoning the water. There will not be no more poisoning our toothpaste and stuff like that. Our hair products to try to like, really, really, really. Why do you think there's such a mass production of, you think these people really care if you smell good? You think these people really care if your hair smells good? All the chemicals in it, you could barely pronounce any of, really, all of that. You are being hit from every angle, from your head to your toes. You have taken on, you have allowed, we, okay, I'm a part of it too, goddamn. All right, I'll take some responsibility for it too, because uh, we, from the head, all the way to the feet and from the moment you're born, do you think those vaccines are really to make sure you're healthy and to protect you from measles and what they claim? That's the first thing that you're hit with when you come out the womb. You get a shot. That's the first most potent shot that calcifies your pineal gland. And also, a long time ago, another part of the reason why they did that is because People were being born with tails, uh, extra fingers, extra toes. These people have done a lot. These people have done a lot. These mad scientists have done a lot. And I'll tell you guys real quick. Let's see if I have enough time. I think, yeah. Um, I had a dream where I was in a lab and I saw these people in white coats, scientists. And they were working in this lab. And then something, I just realized I knew something happened. I saw blue lights flashing, going off. And they were panicking because something happened. I don't know exactly what it was, okay? These people were panicking. All of a sudden, I'm like, I'm sitting in the corner. I'm watching all of this. I'm just an observer in the dream. So then I look at the wall and there are clocks on the wall. I'm like, there's only, there's two clocks on the wall. So usually they would have above the clocks, the U.S. time and China, London, all of these different, you know, if they were paying attention to time zones, but I don't know. I just think they were placed in the dream to tell me something. So here it is, these two clocks on the wall. Now imagine them sitting right next to each other, but starting to roll on the wall and turn away from each other like splitting time or something like that. I don't know what that means, but guess what? That's not for me to question. Interpret it as you will. Um, I have an idea, but I just it's just for me to put the dream out there to share. So this will be the energy of the people once they start to, but the real, the truth of this is that a lot of these people are gonna think that they're experiencing ascension symptoms and they're starting to uh, ascend. But the reality of it is, this is a mass deception that they want you to believe so that when the time comes and you start to see these otherworldly things that you're thinking it's ascension when it's really the matrix falling down that they put around you and the food no longer being poisonous and so on and so forth. So until next time, you guys, I wish you the best and um, yeah, get ready because it's coming and it's coming very soon.